Hello! Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> this video is gonna be different. There's no stopping. It's more of a podcast because obviously you can tell there is no, uh, no video. It's just audio. And, uh, I'm going to be doing an old channel video from my old channel that got hacked. And it was where I read my old fan fiction. <laughs> and those videos are gone now forever gone. Can't get them back. Thanks, YouTube. Uh, thanks, Hacker. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to kind of restart that because my stories are so awful. They're great. Best stories ever. They are so awful that they are hilarious and cringy and it's gonna hurt you. You're gonna like cringe. Physically cringe. It's gonna hurt you listening to this. I'm excited. It's I'm ready. <sighs> I already did this, but the microphone was, like, really bad, so I decided to stop and do a different one. Um, I read a Kendall Schmidt fan fiction that I wrote when I was 12. Um, I probably wrote this when I was 13. Um, and the reason why I'm doing Big Time Rush is because, if you haven't heard already, they're coming back. Don't know when. I know they're doing concerts later at the end of the year. I can't go because the tickets were, like, $800. But... <laughs> It's reasonable. Anyways, all right. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a James Maslow fan fiction. I'm 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 scared uh, if, that you're gonna leave me after reading this. I'm ready for, for you to read it, not for the me leaving you. <laughs> I'm ready. You'll be ready. All right. So this is called. Big time surprises. Oh, by the way, I'm going to do this over the course of a few episodes. They're going to be about 20 minutes long, I'd say. I'm going to read a little bit and then look up every once in a while, see how long I've been recording. We're already two minutes in, so let's get started. I don't know if I know any of this story. I know, um, and that's why I'm excited to read it to you. <laughs> I have like 20 fan fictions, and Nathan hasn't read all of them before. But this is this is a, this is a cringy one. I was just telling him this is worse than my first one that I've written. And <laughs> that one was a it great was, one. It was bad. <laughs> so here we go. Big time surprises. Um, I wrote three of my classmates' names in here. Two of them, which I do not talk to anymore, so I'm changing their names, but. Brianna, shout out to Brianna, she's my friend. We hang out still, so it's fine. She knows that I put her in the story and everything, and <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, I've changed the names of two of the girls. Oh boy! Um so I literally wrote to to my classmate whose name I've changed to Allie. To Allie. I tried making the story less corny than the last one. Yeah, because I took these stories to school and I read them and then she's like, oh, it's so corny. Like, yeah, I know. You were quite the popular girl in school. All right. This is very specific already off the bat. So get get ready. Oh, boy. It was a hot day. <laughs> it was a hot day. It was a hot day. It was a hot day outside on June 25th in Ottumwa, Iowa. Wow. Date and everything. <laughs> Even cheese is done already. <laughs> uh, cheese is our cat, by the way, if you didn't know. I'm sure you do. Um, it was almost noon. I was sitting in the living room watching some home movies, because I don't watch TV, because I hate the celebrity crap. And so do my friends. Except for Justin Bieber. He's awesome. That's it. This is not a Justin Bieber fan fiction. <laughs> then my phone rang. I answered it. Hello? Hey, Haley. It's Andrea. Name changed. Hey, what's up? Not much. That's why I wanted to know if you wanted to come to the bowling alley with me, Allie, name changed, and Brianna. Shout out to Brianna, hey yo. Okay, hmm, I sounds fun. Do you know this part? It's I'll ask later. my mom. <laughs> it's later, I don't know. Mom, I screamed, what? Andrea wants to know if I can meet her and some of my friends at the bowling alley to bowl for a while. What time? What time? I asked Andrea. Um, well, me and, me and, me and Brianna are leaving in like, <laughs> me and Brianna are leaving in like 15 to 20 minutes. In like 15 minutes, I told my mom. Yeah, that's fine. Which bowling alley? Which bowling alley are you meeting? I literally uh, did not have to write this. This is like filler. Which bowling alley are you meeting at? Oh, we're meeting at Champion Bowl. It's the only one that exists in this city now because somebody ran a truck through the other one. That's not how you bowl, sir. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. Champion Bowl. All right. Um, I'll meet you there in like 15 minutes. Okay, see you then. Bye bye. I hung up. Well, it looks like I found something to do on a Saturday evening. I said, excited. I ran in my room and got ready to go. 15 minutes passed by and we're at the bowling alley. 
Just Fine, that skip. quick. Teleport. Make sure to call me. My mom said, whatever. I said, shutting the car door. I ran inside and met everybody. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll mute those parts. <laughs> <laughs> this is a child friendly channel, but just reading that made me oh hate my younger self so much. Anyways, hey hey, shut up. All right, glad you can make it. Grab a ball. We already got the lane started. I went over and got me a bowling ball and came back and sat it down. Stop laughing. The part's over now. Okay, okay I have twenty dollars on me. Let's have a competition," said Allie. I'm so gonna win," said Andrea. Everyone started blabbering their mouth like it wasn't connected to their face. Okay, I said really loud. Don't you think we should get started? I went up because it was my turn to bowl. I then grabbed my ball and threw it again. Again, I hadn't thrown it for the first time. <laughs> I then I got a seven ten split. No, I yelled. No. Whatever. Andrea, come with me so we can play some music. I said, getting money out of my purse. She followed me to the jukebox. I looked through and found some Justin Bieber music. Oh, God. Then I had the best idea ever. Oh, get ready for Go back cringe. to your seat. I got an awesome idea, I told her. She nodded and went and sat down. I ran over to the girl in charge of the bowling lanes. Hi, do you think you could tone down the lights and turn on the disco balls? And oh, give me the microphone, I say, grabbing the microphone. <laughs> I turned on the disco ball lights. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Everyone turned around to face me. Thank you. I would like to tell you all, please, to just stop bowling for five minutes and put on your dance shoes. We are going to admire Justin Bieber's song, Baby, and have a dance competition. Whoever wins gets $20. Then I turned on Justin Bieber's hit song, Baby. I jumped back to everyone, and as soon as the song started... <laughs> playing. Everyone everyone frommed a circle in a spell formed. Everyone formed a circle. Girls on the left, guys on the right. When the chorus came on, one of the guys threw wrong use of threw <laughs> another guy into the middle of the circle and he started break dancing. Then every girl started dancing the same moves as every other girl. And the worst part, I got pushed in the middle with a tall cute guy and then even more embarrassing part, I didn't dance, I didn't sing, I sat there like a fool, not doing anything. And by the time, and now I'm gone, started playing the song. <laughs> that specific, it had to be that particular moment in the song. And by that part of the song, I really was gone, and out the door of the bowling alley. <laughs> I slid down the side of the wall. I feel so stupid right now. I mean, I should have at least sang, and I can't believe I'm talking to myself right now. I screamed at the top of my lungs. You're not. <laughs> then a really tall, cute guy I saw earlier came out and sat next to me. Hey. Oh, hi. You don't have to feel bad, because I was the idiot out there. I should have told you what to do. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> it's not like I would have done it anyway. Like, I have the talent to sing. Oh, come on. What? Someone's got to have at least a little bravery. Then Andrea and Allie came running outside. Hey! <laughs> I looked at them and gave them the go-away look. Then Brianna whispered to them. They looked at the guy I was with, giggled, and ran back inside. So, what's your name? I'm Haley. I'm James, but you probably already knew that. No, I know everyone in this town. I'm not from here. Come on, you know me. I'm THE James Maslow, known for THE face. No, I'm pretty sure I don't know you. I stared at him. And then in parentheses I put, by the way, his eyes are gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? He replied, nothing. It's just your eyes. They're pretty. I laughed and he laughed. Oh, thanks. I get that compliment a lot. And, and what? Nothing. It just feels like I've known you from somewhere, but I haven't. And, and what? Nothing. Anyway, you'll know me once I meet my friends. Come on. Okay. I got up and followed him. Inside, ignoring everyone else. <laughs> okay, these are my friends, Kendall, Carlos, and Logan. Hi, I said. They waved and said hi. You know me now? I stared at him and his friends, and I made a surprised look. Oh, you're that one dude that I don't know. Unbelievable. Wow. Anyway, anyway, even if you don't know me, my friends and I want to challenge you to a game of bowling. Are you sure you're up for a game? <laughs> yeah, are you going to use bumpers? Don't even think about it. <laughs> Why ask? Are you beginners? Do you need them? All his friends gasped. Uh, excuse me? Oh, oh nothing. Come on. Let's meet my friends. I lead the way. Hey, girls, these are the people that want to compete against us. Hi, they all said. Okay, so let's introduce each other and get to the game. 
We all sat at the table and started talking. I could tell who liked who. Andrea liked Kendall. Brianna liked Carlos. Only put them together because they're Mexican. <laughs> wow. And Allie liked Logan. I And I like James. When I'm with him, I feel like I'm the best person in the world. I've spoken like ten words to him. <laughs> it's been two minutes. <laughs> We're on page three. <laughs> After socializing... And then I put, like, a happy face there. We started the game. Socializing. Okay, I got an awesome idea. Whoever loses has to take everyone out for lunch, I said in confidence. Are you saying that we're going to lose? Asked James. I don't know. Maybe. Most likely, yes. (laughs) We'll see about that. Whatever. You're up first. So, go. I screamed at him. Crazy, he said, picking up a bowling ball. And he threw it and got a strike. Ha! We'll see who's buying lunch now. Oh, just shut it, I said, rolling my eyes. I threw it and got a strike also. Ha! Now we'll really sue- Really sue? Really (laughs) sue you. (laughs) We'll really see who's buying lunch now. He laughed and we continued our game. The girls lost, of course, so we had to buy lunch. Great job, Haley, you made us lose, complained Andrea. Great job, girls, we we lost by one pin, I yelled back at her. Well, 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 I think it's time to say I told you so, James shouted at me. Whatever, I said upset. I started walking to the bathroom. James caught up to me and stopped me. Wait, I was just kidding. Oh, I know, you're just a sore loser. No, I'm not. I feel like such an idiot. I shouldn't have made that stupid deal. Now I'm going to have to waste all of my allowance for food. Me and my stupid mouth. Wow. (laughs) We know a lot about wasting our allowance on food. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay, where am I at? Okay. Wait, he yelled. I totally ignored him and walked to the bathroom. I ran over to the mirror and held back tears. I walked back out and walked back outside, totally ignoring James's friends and even my friends. I slowly slid down back against the wall. Kendall walked out to me and sat down next to me. He was also cute. Not as cute as James, though. Oh. My story from Kendall said otherwise. (laughs) Okay. Is that thunder? Oh, no. That was a car. It was a car starting up. Oh. Anyways. Back to the story. We're not in reality right now. (laughs) Hey, just let you... Just to... (laughs) I'm having a stroke. Just to let you know, James feels really bad. And he said that you didn't have to buy lunch for everyone. Thanks. And he asked me to ask you something really important. And that is... It's kind of hard to say this, but he wants to know if you'll go out with him. (laughs) It's been... Ten Ten minutes. minutes. No. (laughs) Uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. He really likes you. And the hardest part to say to you is, is that we all like you. What? (laughs) James, Carlos, and Logan peeked around the corner and waved. Yeah, we all like you and your friends. We all like you. We all like Andrea. We all like Allie. And we all like Brianna. We all like you. I get it. And all of you can come out here, even you, James, I said to them. They all came out and sat down next to me. I feel so special. I've got the three bestest guy friends in the world. (laughs) Even though I've only known you for like an hour. There's four of us. I know, but I also forgot to say that I've also got the best boyfriend in the world, I said to James. And his friends ran around the corner. They were trying to hear what me and James were going to say. James, I'm talking to you. I know. What, you want me to break up with you already? No, I just don't feel like I deserve to be your boyfriend. Why? I just don't feel like I've known you enough. Oh. So, he sighed. Okay, I got it. How about after bullying, me and you can go get something to eat, and I can pay, and after that, if you want, huh, we can date. Oh. He looked at me. I'd like that. I stood up. It's been an hour now. So Things for now, for now we can be best, 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 best. I get it. Best friends. He stood up and laughed. Thanks for what? For, you know, the date we have planned later. Oh yeah. Anything for my best, best, best friend. I get it. <laughs> we laughed and went back inside and we walked to our friends. Quick change of plans. I'm not going to pay lunch for us. You are going to go home and do whatever you want. Well, I get to enjoy a lovely lunch with James. I literally italicized lovely. (laughs) No offense, but you're going to have a boring day. They all groaned and walked out of the door. (laughs) I called my mom. Hey, mom, I've got a new almost boyfriend. And I'm on my way to get you, sweetie. And she hung up on me. That's creepy. I guess she's dying to meet you. Or th- she thinks she's not that you're not old enough to have a boyfriend and is going to come and steal you away from me. I'd go with the second one. Whatever you do, don't let her take me. I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> we walked outside and we sat down together. Then we started talking. I don't get it. Why do you think that I know you? Long story. Okay, so just make the story short. I'll explain everything to you later. During our date? Yeah. 
Wait, so what are we doing? Well, I thought that we could go out to a restaurant somewhere. Restaurant. Spelled miserably. Restaurante. Uh, Restaurant. <laughs> Restaurant. <laughs> That's how I spelled it. Sounds good. Just then my mom came rushing into the, the parking lot. Me and James stood up. James got in front of me. Haley, mom said, running towards me. Or towards James. Move, she said, pushing him aside to the ground. She quickly grabbed me and threw me in the car. Mom, what are you doing? Taking you away from your almost boyfriend. Why? Because you're too young to have a BF. Mom, I'm 17. I started crying because I didn't have James's number and I thought I might never see him again if my mom takes me away from him. James, help me. He tried running after me, but it was too late. My mom pushed him out of the way again and she drove off with me in the car. Here, here, here's a, here, <laughs> it's going to get ridiculous. Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. My mom had bad hearing, so I escaped out the door and rolled down the hill on the highway and ran back to the bowling alley as soon as I could. <laughs> I ran, ran to him like I'd never ran before. He saw me and was really excited. Haley, I started crying tears of happiness. James, I screamed again, jumping in his arms. I never thought I'd see you again. I was so worried, he said. I was too. I was thinking if I didn't have your number, I might not see you again if my mom takes me away from you. She's stupid. Well, I'm here now, and that's all that matters, he laughed. I jumped out of his arms and hugged him. You have no clue how happy I am to see you. Well, should we get our date started? Asked James. Yes, but what are we having? What's your favorite restaurant? Sirloin Stockade. Ooh, rest Ooh. in peace. <laughs> it was a great buffet. Rest in peace, Sirloin Stockade. Oh, and then I put, I think I spelt it right. Did not. Also, spelt. <laughs> <laughs> I spelt it. We stood up. Okay, why don't we go there? And then I want to take you somewhere. Okay, but where? You'll see. He led me to his car. We got in and drove to Sirloin Stockade A, and then we were on our way to James's special place. And we will find out what that special place is on the next episode of Reading My Old Fan Fictions. <laughs> this has been a terrible, terrible story so far. And it just gets worse. Of course. So prepare yourselves. It's going to be great. It's going to be, oh, painful. <sighs> what? Oh, just... You're writing on the back of them. Yes, you can't look. I will. You can. You can watch them as I read through them, but you're not allowed to look at them because they were. The pictures were really stupid. Oh, really that was really stupid. Oh, that's off. That's on the back of. That's on the back of this page. So. Okay. Oh. Oh, don't no no. You're not allowed to look. You're looking forward. Okay. There is one that's no. The tall, cute guy is James. Yes, that was from the first page. Yes. Um. Let's see. The second page was love is in the air. L I I T A. I still remember what that means. And then I drew a heart. The third page is a smiley face that says lovey dovey, and the fourth page says I heart J M. What a surprise! All right. Well. Okay. We're going to uh, stop here, and you can tune in on the next episode of Reading My Old Fan Fictions, because it's going to be terrible. I'm so excited. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bye.